This week I'll show you how shooting closer can improve your photography skills. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace, where you will learn innovative techniques on shooting a wide range of photography. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, a lot of people have been writing to me on my Facebook page and sending me notes saying, hey, I am a pretty good photographer. I know the basics. I know about aperture and shutter speeds and ISO values and exposure and lenses and things like that, but I'm sort of stuck in a rut. And I want to become a better photographer, but I don't really know how. Well, I have a series of exercises that I teach in my local workshops, and we're going to talk about one today, and you can try this at home and see how it works. Now, the point of this is not necessarily to get fantastic pictures, but it's to help you see better, and that is all uh, very, very important in photography, because if you can see things that others can't, your photography is going to be better. And so the exercise works like this. Find an environment, an environment that is sort of uh, bland. So I've chosen a parking lot. So this is just a nasty parking lot right here in front of the studio. It doesn't really have much to it. And if I took a picture of this parking lot, of course, that's going to be a nasty picture. We don't want that. But what we're going to do is I'm going to look for little things that stand out. I mean small things. And then what I'll do is I'll take a picture and I will force myself to get closer and get closer all the way to the max that I can shoot. So uh, when you have a camera, you can only shoot so close. It might be three feet, it might be two feet, depending on the lens that you have. So today I'm using my Fujifilm X-Pro1 and I can shoot pretty darn close, a couple feet um, and really zoom in on things. And so it really depends on your camera, it doesn't matter. The point is to look for things that you can isolate and get as close as possible, take that photo, and you'll see how this works great. Now, the nice thing about this is once you master this, you can use this in the studio when you're shooting portraits. You can get really close, get tight headshots. You can maybe isolate things like eyes uh, and lips and makeup and hair and things like that. Or if you're a scenic photographer, you can get the big shot of the mountains, but then maybe you'll find like uh, some stones or a flower or something really close to the creek, wherever you are. But the point is you just force yourself to do this and so we're gonna do that right now. Follow along with me as I explore and see if I can get closer and find some photos out of this nasty parking lot. All right, so what I'm doing here is uh, I've seen, these rocks here are just very monochromatic. They're just sort of gray, but uh, I've seen there were a couple of petals of flowers have fallen into the rocks. And so what that'll do is it'll give us a splash of color. So let me take a shot of these as close as I can possibly get. Ah, I love it. I'm using a really shallow depth of field to get something that uh, is going to look the best possible. Well, yesterday it rained here in Phoenix, which is really rare, and so we actually have some water here that's uh, draining from the roof. And the nice thing is we have, uh, what that creates is a lot of highly reflective uh, surface because we have a dark background. And then also you can't see it, but the sky is going to be reflected in here. So we might even get some blue, and there's this pink, these pink leaves here that fell into the water. And so if I do this right, what I'll get is a uh, red on blue picture. And uh, that could be really, really cool. So I'm gonna really try to get in there and, and isolate these petals. And uh, then we'll play with it in post just a little bit. So I'm really, really close. Remember, force yourself to get close. Get different angles, get from above, get from the, uh, on the side, twist your camera, and really play with this. And what this will do is it will really help you understand how to compose a photo. And so that's the point, is trying to see better. And so I'm going to shoot this a little bit, and then we'll continue. Now while you're shooting this, um, another thing that will help you uh, learn how to photograph a little bit better is really pay attention to the composition. And when I was looking at this, I saw that there's this tiny little leaf right here and it started showing up in my frame, and so I want to get rid of that. Before I do it, I'll take a picture to make sure I have a shot that shows this clearly. So I like that, but I don't like this little leaf, so I'm going to get rid of it, and then we'll shoot it again with no leaf. Ah, better. Much better. All right, let's continue. Well, when you're getting closer, the point isn't just to get close, but it's to look for things that make the photos interesting. And so in the previous shot, we had color, and that really helped out. This has a sense of line in it. So there's this strong horizontal line where this crack is, and then there's another line that's uh, almost forming an X here where the water has stained the concrete. So what I'm going to do is shoot from above, see if I can fill the frame, and just get some nice composition here. 
and see what happens. I sort of like it, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this photo and I'm just gonna get closer and see what happens. So that's pretty cool. And as I get closer, huh, I just found uh, a little arrangement of leaves and bark here. And I like that better than the crack. And that's the point of it. Just keep shooting, keep going closer. Now I'm just gonna get to this one little leaf here and we're gonna see what happens when I get even closer. So I'm gonna do that. So just like before, I like this, but there's just a little bit too much going on here. So I'm gonna take one of these little leaves. Goodbye, little leaf. And let's see if I can get a shot that's a little bit cleaner. Oh, I can. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So I started with a shot. I got closer, I got closer, I got closer. And then I found something that I wasn't even looking for. And that's sort of how this exercise looks. Just keep getting closer. So I'm gonna keep looking for other opportunities to shoot and see what we get. Well, I came over here and I saw that, uh, I guess when this was painted, uh, it rained. And so a lot of the paint has been worn off on this little gutter here. And uh, that looks to me like a really awesome texture. So I'm gonna shoot right into this and see what I can do with that really small space there. And remember, get closer. Well, we have this ugly transformer thingy here in the front of our parking lot, and I was looking at it, and it's a large surface. It's not too interesting. But what struck me were these really hard shadows. And so I'm gonna play with those to see if I can get some abstract shapes out of this. Um, but then when I was uh, looking at the shadows, I noticed that there's a lot of broken paint and texture on this as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this, shoot some shadows, and then I'm gonna get closer, get closer, get closer, and see what I can pull out of this sort of monolithic gray or greenish nasty thing. And uh, let's see if get closer helps us get some photos that are usable out of this boring subject. Well, there you have it. There are some of the shots I was able to get right in the front parking lot of our studio. Now, the point is that you're, I mean, you're not gonna get fantastic photos out of this, but what's gonna happen is you're going to be able to train your eye by getting closer and you'll see some things, get closer still, you'll find something else, get even closer. And uh, what I suggest is maybe get a group of friends, zip out one day, find a bland uh, place, and then have a challenge, have a shoot off, so you can get the most interesting picture in the most bland place of all. And then once you do that, why don't you post your results on the, our, our Adorama Facebook page so we can all see what's happening with you and your photography and your mad skills. All right, well, thanks for joining us this week. Tune in next week for another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. And don't forget that you can subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. I've done it. Why don't you do it? It's going to be awesome and it's free. All right, thanks for joining us and I'll see you again next time. And what you'll do is you'll find a big truck in the background, some squeaky wheels, all kinds of noise. It's like all like ears. Like, yeah. Play with your mic falling off. Is if you do this over and over and uh, make sure you do something, it'll be cool. Thanks. Want to get the most out of your Adorama photography equipment? Visit our learning center where you can read popular articles, how-to tips, buying guides, and product reviews.